Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. You must be busy. I understand. Do not merely hold your blade. Become one with it. I am at your come, service. Come see what I've got. You want over. it? I've got everything to do. Everything perfectly I, bright. You'll find you see everything know here, exactly my friend. What you There's want. nothing I, I like that in a custom. You, sir. You look like you need something. You'll find it here. And sure enough. Come, people. Come see what I've got. Altair, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Whose life do you come to collect today? His name is Abu Nakud. What can you tell me about him? Oh, the merchant king of Damas. Richest man in the city. Quite exciting, quite dangerous. 
I envy you, Altair. Well, not the bit where you were beaten and stripped of your rank, but I envy everything else. Oh, except for the terrible things the other assassins say about you. But yes, aside from the failure and the hatred, yes, aside from those things, I envy you very much. I do not care what the others think or say. I'm here to do a job. So I ask again. What can you tell me about the Merchant King? Only that he must be a very bad man if Al Mualim has sent you to see him. He keeps to his own kind, wrapped in the finery of this city's noble district. A busy man, always up to something. I'm sure if you spend some time amongst his type, you'll learn all you need to know about him. And where would you have me begin my search? If I were you, I'd start with the Omayyad Mosque and Souk Saruja, both of which are west of here. Further to the northwest is Salahadin Citadel. It's a popular meeting spot and has proved a reliable source of loose tongues in the past. Yes, these three places should serve your needs. My thanks for your guidance, Rafiq. I'll return when I've gathered the necessary information. It's been such a long time. Any news of Ada since she left? No. How sad. I'm sure you'll find her someday. I have heard a feather is lying on top of Abu Nukud's head. Maybe I could help you. But I have a mission myself. I have four targets I must eliminate before noon. Let's cooperate, just like old times. Two for you, two for me. They are Abu Nukud's personal guards. You will spot them in minutes. Glorious and exalted is he! Find favor with us! What does he make grant us victory? Be wary, friends! The Shaitan is everywhere! Watch it! I think he's seen everything now. He does us all! What is he doing? Be strong! Strong like a Anyone want to do that? Who wasn't that great? Just like in Alep, you remember? Here's something I found on one of the Merchant King's men. I think it's a map of where he has stationed his guards. I'm sure it will come in handy in your mission. Anytime you're in Damascus, come see me. You know my door is always open to you. Safety and peace, my friend. Do that again and I'll call It was good of you to come. It is an honor to serve. What do you require? The letter I've given you must be brought to Salah Adin's camp. Seek out the one they call Hisham. He will be able to help. But tell no one else of this. None will know my mission. Then our business is concluded. Your eye. You are 
Your presence annoys Our evenings are now filled with light. Leave this place. There is no one more generous than Abul Nukud. Every week he opens his doors to the people of Damas that they may lay down their burdens and know joy. Our days may be dark, but thanks to him, our evenings are now filled with light. The Merchant King provides for one and all. He asks for nothing in return. Let his generosity serve as an example to us all. Everyone should strive to be as he. I'll talk, I'll talk. I've no interest in dying for him. His coin's not worth my life. A wise decision. What is it you want? I have business with the Merchant King. Ha! Huh? Good luck with that. He rarely leaves his chambers. Why? Is he afraid? Not fear. Hate. He hates himself as much as he hates the people he pretends to serve. Locks himself away in his personal quarters out of shame. He can't stay hidden forever. No. No celebrations of his. He comes out to speak. To look down upon the people. A sense of belonging, I suppose. However brief. What's wrong with him that he would hide like this? <laughs> You'll see. Now let me go. Let you go? So you can tell him of my plan? I won't say a thing. No, you won't. Hold a moment, Altair. I have a strange request, but perhaps you'll see fit to assist me. I know you seek the Merchant King's life, but there are others in this city just as cruel. Several shopkeepers in this district have taken to selling rotten meat. It's cheap for them to acquire, and they care little for the illness that it causes. Several children have already died as a result. We should not allow this injustice to continue. Would you be willing to put a stop to this? Now! Stop running! You cannot escape! Help me there! You cannot run forever!
saved untold lives. In return for your kindness, I'll give you a bit of information you might find useful. I overheard two of the Merchant King's servants this morning. It seems they've left some scaffolding just outside his personal quarters. You could use it to reach him that much quicker. Safety and peace. You want information about the city, I suppose? Right now, I don't have time. I must find some flags which have been stolen from our cache in the rich district of Damascus. But with this heat, my legs cannot carry me anymore. Would you be kind enough to help me? Return with the flags and I'll help you as best I can. Leave now. Have you gone mad? He's going to cause trouble. You are not allowed to be here. Leave. Thank you. The Rafik will be happy to see these flags return. Perhaps this morsel of information will help you. I was invited by Abul to one of his lavish parties. I noticed the fountain in the middle of the Merchant King's palace could be easily climbed. Use this information wisely. Now, if you'd excuse me, I must go. The last of it has been delivered. Good. Make sure he also knows it wasn't easy arranging a shipment like this. It's only wine. Some can be fickle in their faith. Your holy book says something on the subject, I believe. Leave them that they may eat and enjoy themselves, and that hope may beguile them, for they will soon know. And never did we destroy a town that had a term made known. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind it. Be about your business, as you wish. Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The Bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one.
Welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining me this evening. Please eat, drink, enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Take your time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. Most excellent, most excellent. Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Adin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then. To you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you. You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel. Oh, do not feign ignorance. You take me for a fool. I have not heard the words you whisper behind my back. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you're saying, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different, just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, Tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you. Mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I've pledged myself to another cause. One that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. Hmm. A pity none of you will live to see it. <laughs> Kill anyone who tries to escape. Peace now. 
their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead, sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance, then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad-Din's cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. Word has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with Al-Mualim then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one.
Focus on your target. Let nothing distract you. Come, Altair. I would have news of your progress. I've done as you've asked. Good. Good. I sense your thoughts are elsewhere. Speak your mind. Each man I'm sent to kill speaks cryptic words to me. Each time I come to you and ask for answers. Each time you give only riddles in exchange. But no more. Who are you to say no more? I'm the one who does the killing. If you want it to continue, you'll speak straight with me for once. Tread carefully, boy. I do not like your tone. And I do not like your deception. I have offered you a chance to restore your lost honor. Not lost. Taken. By you. And then you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. It seems I'll need to find another. A shame. You showed great potential. I think if you had another, you'd have sent him long ago. You said the answer to my question would arise when I no longer needed to ask it. So I will not ask. I demand you tell me what binds these men. Uh, what you say is true. These men are connected by a blood oath not unlike our own. Who are they? Non nobis, domine non nobis. Templars. Now you see the true reach of Robert de Sable. All of these men, leaders of cities, commanders of armies. All pledge allegiance to his cause. Their works are not meant to be viewed on their own, are they? But as a whole, what do they desire? Conquest. They seek the Holy Land not in the name of God, but for themselves. What of Richard? Salah Eddin? Any who oppose the Templars will be destroyed. Be assured they have the means to accomplish it. Then they must be stopped. That is why we do our work, Altair. To ensure a future free of such things. Why did you hide the truth from me? That you might pierce the veil yourself. Like any task, knowledge precedes action. Information learned is more valuable than information given. Besides, your recent behavior had not inspired much confidence. I see. Altair, your mission has not changed. Merely the context within which you perceive it. And armed with this knowledge, I might better understand those Templars that remain. Is there anything else you want to know? What about the treasure Malik retrieved from Solomon's temple? Robert seemed desperate to have it back. In time, Altair, all will become clear. Just as the role of the Templars has revealed itself to you, so too will the nature of their treasure. For now, take comfort in the fact that it is not in their hands, but ours. If this is your desire, it is. You are restored another rank. Take back your weapon. Use it to bring honor to the Brotherhood. Altair, before you go... Yes? How did you know I wouldn't kill you? Truth be told, Master, I didn't. I took a leap of faith.
Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my walkthrough of Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed. This will be a full storyline walkthrough of all the Assassin's Creed games, so if you enjoyed it, feel free to like and subscribe. Also, be sure to check out my social media and my Twitch stream. I try to stream at least a few hours every day. Links will be in the description below, and if you have a game out there that you want me to do a walkthrough series or a review on, be sure to post it in the comments below and I'll check it out. Thanks again and see you in the next episode.